है There we go. Woo, let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are out here on the Fox River. Now it's the evening time, and we've been doing some fishing, and we've been catching some walleyes. Now, reason I'm filming an intro now is because, well, let's just say we had a very interesting morning. I'm out here with Cody Solberg and Max Wilson, and our morning started out a little complicated. I'm gonna go ahead and roll some footage for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, we had some issues with the ice, the landing, had a gigantic chunk of ice and when i say gigantic i mean it like it was absolutely huge probably about 16 maybe 18 inches thick that broke off from somewhere out here on the river stretch and uh well we, uh, we ended up pushing it off uh max we. max <laughs> we. max pushed it off he actually hopped on the thing pushed it offshore some other guys that were out here fishing uh, i was open this morning but then the ice chunk drifted through and uh well they were not able to get off so max hopped on the old iceberg and grabbed their anchor and they basically just pulled it out of the way with their boat it's pretty awesome some good teamwork so we got those guys in we were able to get out so we're out here we are absolutely slamming some walleyes i'm gonna go ahead just tell you right now it's amazing to be out here with these guys we were super stoked for this bite it's been freezing cold today was not the worst, but it's pretty brutal. But temperatures are going to be warming up real, real quick. This next week is going to be 40s into the 50s even. And this is going to be hot. The fox bite is on. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start rolling some clips. Let's go catch some walleyes. Yeah, if you go on his YouTube channel, there's one big old whitey. Yes! Hooked off! Okay. Oh, I see this right away. <laughs> Hooked up! <laughs> literally what it was, dude. I saw him for a second. Yep. There he is. Right in the belly mouth. Oh, we love that. Woo! We love that. Snag City, boys. Yep. Boom. Cody Solberg is on the board. Yep. If you guys want to get out for white fish trips, just let me know. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Gorgeous. Just like what we were catching through the ice a couple weeks ago. Actually, not even a couple weeks ago. Literally last week. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cody got one to eat. Oh my god. Let's go. <laughs> Hold me. I don't even know what to think. It's a freaking wall of magi in the mouth. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Yes! yes. Uh, you know, it would be a little unsatisfactory if I didn't catch the first walleye in my boat for the 2022 season. That's true. Just saying. That is true. It's little, but you know, it's the first one. It's a perfect little guy. Come on, come here. All right. It's a, actually, we just waited. It's, a, it's about a, two, a little over two pound fish. We're going to go ahead and get him back in the water and hopefully catch some more. Walter, Walter. Yep. Yeah. Holy. I think he did smoke it. Let's go. It's in the mouth. Woo! You gotta say that. In, in the, the mouth. mouth. <laughs> nice fish, dude. Look at it. T bone it. Yeah, he did T bone it. Nice fish. Let's go. Woo! Alrighty, there we go. First one of the trip for me. Nice little Walter, not a big one by any means, but he came up and just T-boned it. He slammed that blade bait. That was awesome. Gonna go ahead, get him unhooked here. He wanted it bad. Hit it on the paws. That was awesome. Woo! First one for me. That's exciting. Glad to be back out here on the season. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Second That's Walter awesome. in the boat. Cody got one earlier. And now I've got one as well. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get a quick photo just because it's the first one. It's just a little guy, but get a photo and then uh, get him back in the water. Number two on the day. So Going back. Yeah. See ya. Woo, that is exciting. Not a big one by any means, but hey, that's the first one for me out here. Glad to be throwing blades, to be honest. Definitely thought it was gonna be 
slow, it's cold. Figured we'd just come down here and throw a jig and minnow. And uh, we got a little update. There were a couple boats out here the last day or two. Ice is just coming off, obviously. And uh, it's our first trip out here. We were told that blades will work. So we were like, well, what the heck? Why well, throw just jig and a minnow when we can throw blade baits? So yeah, first one for me, T-boned it. We love that. Now hopefully they just start getting a little bit bigger. <laughs> like, what the? Well, cause there's so many memories in the group. That's a walleye. Yeah, that's, that's a walleye. Sure. That one ate it. I felt him. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Ooh. That one ate it hard. That's a better one. Not a giant, but it's nicer. Let's go. Nice work, dude. Ooh. Open up my oh, that a click? reel here. On the Let's orange, go. On the orange blade. Just switch to that orange blade bait. Just switch to it. That was awesome. Still very windy out here. We had a little moment there where the wind died down and uh, now it's definitely picked back up on us. But that is, what is this? Walleye number four, five on the day? Five, I think. Five, yeah. This is my second one. Beautiful fish. Nothing crazy. Um, probably about the same size as the last one I caught, roughly. And let's just go ahead and we're going to dunk them back into the water. Don't forget the wave. Yep, can't forget the wave. Got to respect your resource. See you <laughs> later, buddy. Woo! We love that. Thank you for the help. No Appreciate problem. it. Just switched over to this orange colored blade bait. Let me go ahead and get this out of the net and I will show you guys. All right, so go ahead and show you guys what we're using here. This is the blade bait. Picked this up at the Swamp Donkey next to the launch before we, well, before we played in the snow actually today. That was, that was a little rough. We were all, we? Well, you most certainly we? played. <laughs> We you were pushing some me. ice. We were playing in the snow. I didn't see you push once. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed a stick, okay? Oh, he handed me the stick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is what we're using. We had a lot of fun getting out here today. We're starting to get on them. We got five fish in the boat. Go ahead and toss this back in the water for right now. Nothing like super consistent as far as like where we're located or anything like that. Obviously, we're down from the dam a little ways here. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been a slow bite. It's been a grind, uh, but luckily it's not extremely cold. We do have some cold temperatures coming, but I'm thinking by probably Sunday this weekend, uh, things are going to start heating up. And then throughout the entire next week, highs are in the mid 40s up into the 50s. So that's when the bite's really going to get on. We're just out here early, so we had the itch to get out here. Small fish big fish whatever doesn't matter we're just having fun kind of feels like it feels like head shakes but I can't tell walleye There we go. Woo! Let's go. Good in. That is a good one. That is the best a good one. one. That is probably the best one of the day, ain't that it? One's a, that's over, a, it's over two pounds. Let's weigh that one. Yeah. Yeah. Peace <laughs> so, dude. Let's go, baby. Nice one. That's the biggest of the day, dude. For sure. All right. Got that blade bait out of there. Definitely the nicest one of the days for us so far. This one's probably going to be somewhere between that two and three pound range. Not a giant by any means, but definitely quality fish. That one slammed it. Heck that yeah, one, buddy. That one ate it real good. Uh, probably the most aggressive slap I've gotten so far out here today with the boys. But yeah, that's a nice one. We're gonna go ahead, get a couple photos of this one. All right, go ahead, get this guy back into the water. Full energy. Bye. Woo. All right, we love that. Blade baits are working. I haven't thrown a jig and minnow since the first five minutes I got into this boat today. We've been chucking blades for the last, I don't know, probably three hours or so we've been out here. That's fish number seven, eight? Eight, I think. Nine? Oh yeah, you did, yeah, nine. We're at nine now. Nothing huge, no, <laughs> no shade, no shade being thrown. Number number nine on the day, nothing huge. That was probably our biggest one so far, two of them that were real close. But uh, yeah, we're having fun out here. We're gonna keep at it. They're getting a little bit bigger, so we like it. Well, we just got done with my fish, just put it back, and Max is on one, so we love that. 
Oh boy. All right, we're gonna get her back out there and see if we can get another one. Almost, it tried to eat. All right, well, we have definitely had our fun with these guys today. And toss them back. Yeah. yeah, those are the, the best. Works. I like it when they're off in the net instead of outside Let's the net. Let's go. It's a nice one. What you got there, buddy? Wow, well, we got ourselves one of them Walter friends. Another nice one. Come here, buddy. You're raking them in on the blade bait. Yeah. Blade bait is definitely not doing too bad. Get them up here. There we go. Again, nothing huge today, but Man, is it awesome to get out here and just catch some fish. We're having a lot of fun. The three of us, I think we're at 14 now. Is that yeah, right? 14. 14 fish so here. And that's walleyes. That's not including any of the whitefish. You guys haven't really seen many of the whitefish that we've caught. Um, we've got probably a good dozen of those at least as well. Uh, obviously, walleyes are the target species out here today. Having a lot of fun out in the cold. Everything's starting to freeze up. The sun is going down. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy back into the water right away. I was able to snag a quick picture. Now we're gonna go ahead and get that guy back into the water. Give him the wave, the old peace sign, goodbye. Well, we're gonna keep at it. Uh, it's getting late, like I was saying, sun is going down. So we've had a fun time out here. We got 14 walleyes, first trip out on the foxes here. Um, obviously you guys only saw at least probably three or four, maybe five or six of them out here. If you guys wanna get on some walleyes, definitely check out both of these guys. Uh, Cody's gonna be starting his own guiding service out here on the Fox. Max has got some good stuff as well. You're gonna wanna definitely hit both of these boys up because I'll tell you what, they are going to put you on some fish. And yes, it is very cold out right now, but they're gonna get you on some bigger fish. Max just hooked up with something, eh? Big oh. old hunk of We, oh. <laughs> a mask. It's a mask, that's yes. wonderful. <laughs> well. Max just hooked a lovely mask. That's one of the nice things about the fox is you get some awesome stuff in here. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> make him make him do that. Well, we're gonna go ahead and keep fishing. Hopefully we get into a couple more. That might be the last one of the evening. We'll just have to wait and see. If we do get any more, hopefully it's another big one. All right, let's see it. Flex on the gram for me. White fish. <sighs> this he, is called a white fish. Did he eat it? You can. <laughs> No, you I can't said, eat these things. He eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that mole. <laughs> Sometimes these are what get in the way, guys. He ate it with his old belly mouth. This is Oop. what we've caught Oop. way too many of Oop. today. Oop. Book <laughs> your trip with Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Alrighty, you guys. Well, whew, what an exciting day. We made it back to the landing. We had some fun when we got back. We had some ice chunks that did float back through. Luckily, they were a little bit smaller than the ones that we experienced this morning. But man, I'll tell you what, super grateful to be out here, super excited to be on the open water grind. It's finally happening. I feel like we've been waiting forever for this to finally happen. It was freezing cold. It's still really early, but we got out here. We grinded it out, got together with the boys today. Cody, <laughs> were you back there the whole time? I just got here. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of fun out there though. I'll tell you what, huge thank you and appreciation goes out to Cody Solberg. Gotcha. Um, if you guys want to check out all of his info, I, again, I will leave that all down below. If you guys want to get out here on the Fox and book a trip with him, 
he's gonna put you on some big fish. Today uh, was mostly small to medium sized fish, nothing huge by any means, uh, but it's the first trip, you know, it was the first time getting the boat out, getting some lines wet, and we had a lot of fun with it. Now, again, this next week, we're supposed to have some warm weather that's gonna be coming through, and it's gonna open up uh, a lot more possibilities, areas to fish, warmer water temps i think today we were at like 35 maybe 36 degrees in most areas that we were fishing and uh, we only got out for a couple hours but we just wanted to come down test it out um, and and we had fun with it you know again it was a little bit hectic getting the boat into the water this morning uh, it was a little bit hectic getting the boat off the water this afternoon uh, but sun's going down it's getting cold the bite was it was good it wasn't it wasn't hot yet. I mean, it's there. You definitely can come down and catch some fish and you might even get into some big ones. You just never truly know down here. But again, super grateful to be out here. I would like to go through just a little bit more of what I was using, just because I didn't explain that super well to you guys. We were throwing blade baits. Uh, we picked them up at the Swamp Donkey, which is just a, a hut, a trailer that's up here uh, near the launch. You guys can swing by if you guys are gonna be fishing the fox, pick up some baits, uh, whatever you want. You can get minnows and stuff like that too if you wanna throw live bait, uh, jigs, whatever you wanna throw out here. They're gonna have pretty much everything for you. Also was running the PC Fun Reels and I managed to snap two rods this morning uh, in, in the car door, in my truck door. I was not happy when I got to Cody's house this morning, I'll tell you that right now. But uh, Cody was able to hook me up with a new PC Fun rod, it was a serpent rod. Uh, definitely worked really well for what we were doing today. I was extremely excited to test it out, I've never used one before, but it was awesome. And the Carbon X Reel 2000 series worked great. Um, overall, again, fun day. I'm going to leave all that info down below for you guys next time we get out here. Hopefully I'll be out with Nick. Hopefully I'll be able to go through a little bit more of how we were catching them, uh, why we were fishing certain areas, what we're using in those areas this time of year. Water temps are going to be different. Everything's going to be a little bit different the next time we go. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. Give us a like. We would really appreciate that. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to see more content, you can head over to these gentlemen's channels as well again it's cody s cody solberg and max wilson i will leave that down below for you guys to check out you guys can book a trip with them uh they are going to get you on huge fish i'm not gonna lie they will put you on a lot of fish and big fish you just gotta let them know what you want to catch so i'm gonna go ahead wrap things up it's cold it's time to head home but i am super excited for open water to be getting out here crazy to think ice fishing went as long as it did but here we are we're out in the boat we're having fun with it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBN.